you new drivers, you guys better stop playing. Stop, stop playing out here. Stop playing because what happened to that young lady can't easily happen to you. Y'all out here driving like it's a game. It ain't no game out here. It's serious. You drivers be sitting in your cabs, in your trucks, talking about how easy it is, how smooth it is. Trucking is easy. No, trucking ain't easy, bro. Trucking ain't easy. Things liable to happen at any time, any second, anywhere, any place, as you guys can see. An accident caused that young lady's truck to go off and hang on a bridge. A bridge. A bridge. That truck was hanging on by dear life. That, that, that mug fifth wheel, that kingpin, bro, bro, that's all I have to say is the kingpin. And the only, the only thing that everybody would safely say that was holding that truck up there was the hand of God. The hand of God. My Lord Jesus Christ said, it wasn't your time. It's not your time. I got you. I got you. Put your faith in me and I'll make sure that I'll hold on long enough for you to be rescued. That's exactly what happened. And that's what can happen to us out here. You guys play too much. Y'all come on TikToks and do these tickety tocks and, and saying trucking is happy, go happy this and all like that. No, it ain't. Trucking is serious. It is serious. It is so serious. You can blink and something will happen. You could be the best driver out here and something could still happen. All I could do is just pray before I start my my shift and pray before I go to bed. Pray enough that I be focused out here and not be paying attention to the phone instead of paying attention to what's going on. It can happen. It happened to that young lady. See, when you get into an accident, accidents hit different. You guys out here driving like everything is, is Humpty Dory. But when you get in that accident, especially your first accident, it hits different, bro. I kid you not. So let's head over to Georgia. a fiery 18-wheeler wreck at the Georgia Welcome Center off I-95. This was the scene last night, which is now dramatically different. Where the young man unfortunately lost his life in a, in a high-speed crash. As we come to find out that it was a medical situation, my heart goes out to that man and his family. The young lady did come on and express to the community that that was her husband. He's been a truck driver for a long time. She needs a little help. She set up a GoFundMe if you guys could do something. But here's the thing, and I know I, I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way, but we gotta make sure that, that we got something in place for that our loved ones could take care of us if anything should happen. We, we should have some type of life insurance in place if anything should happen to us out here because i i hate to say it but the companies they they only give you limited help think about it it's not up to the company to get your loved one back home from where they at it's not up to that company it's not up to that company to to make sure that you are right see that's why we're here and while we're here we make sure that we got things in place for when we're not because the struggle is gonna be real for these for these people and mine too. When I leave, struggle is gonna be real for them. I, I don't wanna leave here with additional struggles. I want to leave here knowing that my son is able to lay me to rest and he's able to do it without having to ask for additional help. I am here to make sure that I do what I need to do so that he won't have to go through all of that when it's when it's time. Now, not to say that everybody follows the same rules and the same traits as I do, but I'm just saying just just a just just the thought because I can understand that you guys like to come out here, chase the bag, chase the bag, chase the bag. But how you out here chasing the bag and you're not in good health? How you out here chasing the bag? and you don't put your family in a position 
to make sure that you're good after you're gone. You're out here chasing the bag and you putting the bag in the wrong place where it needs to be. Well, I'm, I'm chasing this bag so I can start a business. No, chase the bag, start the business, but make sure you got money, health, life insurance. Make sure you have all of that while you're out there chasing the bag because you don't know when it's your time. You don't know. Again, back to that young lady that was dangling over the bridge. God said it wasn't her time. God said it was not her time. But unfortunately, the driver that crashed into the other driver and unalived the other driver. Now, mate, that, that driver was just, I, I don't want to say it was his time, but it was unfortunate that the driver that crashed, it could have been his time. We don't know. Is it fair? No, no. It was just an unfortunate set of circumstances that led it off to a chain reaction. I feel for the victim that was involved and my condolences goes out to the driver that did the crash. We all know now that it was a medical situation that caused him to do what he did. As far as the other driver that was asleep, again, my heart goes out to his family. But what I wanna tell you drivers, you new drivers out here, stop playing. Stop playing. Stop acting like this is some glorified job because it's not. Stop playing. Stop walking around here that this, this job is glorious and stop playing with this job and take this job serious. A lot of you guys don't. A lot of you guys be on your phones. A lot of you guys be watching YouTube. A lot of you guys have your foot up on the dashboard. A lot of you guys drive these trucks like it's your little Pintos, man. Y'all need to start taking it serious. Because if you don't, one of these days, that situation that happened to that young lady, that situation that happened to that other driver, that situation that happened to the other driver that was unalived as well, can eventually happen to you. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes. Look, Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.